in any case, I went out the backyard and I found this piece of a trunk of what uh, used to be a, a hibiscus brand, a hibiscus bush in the backyard that I removed because it died about three years ago. And I left this lion back there on the patio and it, it's become for all the world a, a piece of driftwood. And I'm trying I'm looking at it trying to figure out if there's anything in there that I can I can uh, monkey around with and put on the lathe and get something cool going on like Yuval did with his piece of olive, his little olive crotch. I just watched the video on that and he made a beautiful little winged vase out of it. And I thought, wait a minute, now what about that, that, uh, ooh, silverfish, big surprise. What about that piece of hibiscus I have out there? Maybe there's something in there. But I don't know, I'm still looking at it and, and, um, yeah. more and more bugs are coming out as I remove debris. This, you can see it's very light. It probably weighs a pound, maybe two. There's like it's completely desiccated. In any case, I'm still looking. I'm trying to find some some bit of uh, interesting whatnot in this, so that I can have a good wacky piece of pseudo wood. I may just decide that it makes a nice piece of driftwood and just, you know, clean it all off and polish it up and leave it in its natural form. I don't know. I've never done that before. But, you know, there's a whole there's a whole subculture of woodworkers who specialize in driftwood. And they're not allowed to put anything on their on their driftwood in their competitions. They they can clean it up. They can remove bark if there's any bark. And but mainly it's just about polishing naturally and leaving it. And there's some pretty neat things that they come up with. But again, this isn't really a piece of driftwood. It's a piece of hibiscus, not wood at all, really. It's a plant. But there you go. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep studying this matter for a while and I'll get back.